Okay, guys. So, good evening, everybody. Very nice to see you. Uh, welcome to the English class. Friday, TGIF. Thank God it's Friday. So, well, let's finish our week with this English class. All right, very good. Okay. Now, how many people do I have so far? 11 people. All right. Very good, very good. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Nice. Okay, so before we start, uh, I've been watching your videos. Uh, I will have watched some of them. And they're doing good. Uh, wait, wait, wait. I'm going to mute everybody. There you go. All right. So I was saying, I was checking some of your videos and I must say they're good. They are pretty good. Um, as you know, some of you might be concerned or might, be, uh, might still be concerned with the fact that um, probably you still wanna sound better, you wanna have better pronunciation, better grammar, and that comes with time, right, in practice. We're actually doing a, um, all days we're doing all, all these uh, practices, for example, this video, um, I hope, or I guess it's going to help you um, to practice, to improve that pronunciation. Um, what I'm going to do is that I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be sending you like some feedback regarding your video. Um, I'm going to do it through WhatsApp, right? So right now I just received them, but eventually I will give you some feedback and about those videos. I'm going to watch them during the weekend and then on Monday I'm going to send you some things that you can improve so that we can have or so that you can have actually a better pronunciation, better a fluency, etc, etc. All right. So, uh, well, I was checking actually Mr. Who was it? Let me see. Mr. Mr. Jimmy, Jimmy was able to, to, to upload the video to the platform. So that was good. I didn't know actually we could do it because when I asked, I asked him in, in, to my other coworkers if we actually could upload videos to Schooly, and they say no. But today, Jimmy was able so se traba el audio teacher now we know that we can actually se traba very good let's see se traba el audio hay problema con el internet teacher creo que es su internet El profesor también ha perdido conexión, dice. No van a dar clases ahora. De la clase usted, Paquito. Ha perdido la conexión el teacher, dice. Yo hablando y estaba, estaba en mute. <laughs> All right, I'm sorry. Yes, hoy sí fallaron los mega. <laughs> no, creo que, bueno, aquí está lloviendo. Está lloviendo un poco fuerte. Estivo. Estivo, sí. 
Sí. <risa> no, pero yo creo que en todos lados está viviendo, porque aquí también. Está sí, yo creo que es eso, porque, bueno, eh, he tenido claro y tigo y usualmente no me, no me dan problemas, pero creo que ahora sí es la, es la lluvia. Eh, también no sé si a ustedes les apareció como un update de Zoom. Eh, a mí se me actualizó hace, hace como unos minutos antes de la clase. Eh, por eso me tardé también un poco. Pero no sé qué onda. Bueno, let's see. Hopefully it's not going to fail again. All right. So here we go. Eh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call your name. And once I call your name, you say present. Okay. So okay. Mr. Adilson. Present teacher. Very good. Nice. Uh, Ronald. Present teacher. Very good. Let me see. Give me a sec here. Mr. Dago Cornejo. Present teacher. Present. Present, <laughs> present, present. <laughs> Very good, Dago. Nice. Let me see. George, Jorge, Erazo, you there? George, George, George of the Jungle. No? Jorge, Erazo, not there. All right. Mario Hernandez. Present teacher. Very good. Nixon. President Nixon Lopez. President teacher. Nice, very good. Mr. William Lopez. Present teacher. Excellent. Good evening. Good evening. <laughs> Let's see. Gloria Mancilla. Present teacher. Hey, Gloria, very good. Nice. Mr. Jonathan Marquina. Present teacher. Good. Welcome. Mr. Jaime Mejiba. Present teacher. Excellent. Let me see. Mr. Nicolas Monge. Present teacher. All right. Very good. Está hasta atrás del salón porque casi no se le escuchó. <laughs> There you go. Mr. Carlos Panameño. Mr. Panameño, no here. Here, teacher. All right, here. very good. Nice, very good. Mr. Jose Rodriguez. Good evening. Hello. I'm here. Good evening. Welcome. Good. Thank you. All right. Mr. Christian Segura. Present teacher. Good nice, night. very good. Hello, good evening. Mr. Francisco Solorzano. Present teacher. Nice, welcome. Good Mr. Good evening. Mr. Jose Torres. Present teacher, good evening. Good evening, welcome, Jose. Mr. Jimmy Vallecillos. Present teacher. Good evening. Hey, Jimmy, welcome. Good. Mr. Jose Vasquez. Sure. Hey, Jose, welcome. Mr. Eder Saldivar. Present. Very good, Eder. Welcome. And last but not least, Mr. Christian Cepeda. Present, teacher. Very good. Jorge. Are you here amongst the living? Jorge Razo? No. Missed an action. All right, not here. Okay then, so let's see. All right, so as I was saying, or as I was telling you at the beginning, Um, you know, learning English is like going to the gym. If you have gone to the gym sometimes, um, you are going to notice that at the beginning, 
when you start lifting weights, it hurts. Your body hurts. But the same happens with English. At the beginning, we say, oh my God, it's so complicated. It's so difficult. It's so, um, the pronunciation is it's very complicated. The writing is so difficult too. Uh, the grammar, right? So, and then we kind of start seeing the results. When you go to the gym, you start seeing your, your body starts changing and everything. And the same happens with English. With practice, our speech, our fluency, our vocabulary, our grammar, everything starts changing and it gets better. Now, don't give up, right? Don't give up, continue, be constant. That's, the, that's like the, that's the key. Many people say, eh, teacher, ¿cuál es la clave para, para aprender inglés rápido? Sea constante, right? Be constant, practice, practice, practice. And that's, that does the trick in the end, right? Don't abandon hope. Eh, you just gotta be persistent. That's pretty much it, all right? No como, por eso lo comparo con ir al gimnasio, porque a veces la gente va un mes o dos meses y después dice, ah, mejor, mejor me tomo. Yes. <laughs> Cabal, día ya sabe qué, vea. Y o mejor Ay, me tomo esto. Cabal. <laughs> eh, ir al gimnasio. Teacher. Me, mi pasión. I, I have... <laughs> yes. Teacher, uh, I have a question. What, uh -huh. what, mean, so, what, uh, what uh, is tricky? Tricky. Yes. Tricky means, like in Spanish, engañoso, eh, something that makes you doubt, algo que hace dudar. That's tricky, right? Oh, okay. Uh -huh. Thank you. In, all right, very good. Okay. I also was checking eh, the homework. I was checking the homework. Eh, you actually eh, uploaded to Schoology, the one that said Tarea 1. Eh, si pueden ir a Schoology, también revisen. Eh, les he hecho algunos comentarios en, en la tarea, en la que subieron, y también en los comentarios que han dejado eh, en, el, en el foro. Esa, right? esa copa ya se en Madrid. ¿Cómo? La Copa del Madrid. No, qué barbaridad, dejamos de ver <ríe> tele. Bien, no, tele. no hombre. Ya en el partido está. <ríe> Lo vamos a poner. Vamos a mutear el, 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 el micrófono. Here we go. All right. Nice. Okay. So, welcome, Jorge. Now I see that you, you joined the class. Very good. Okay. So, as I was saying, uh, check the platform because in Schoology, I checked the homework, the first homework. Also check the, uh, the forum that we have there. I made some comments too. And what else, what else? Ah, I wanted to show you something. Let me see about the previous um, practice that we had in class about the worksheet that we were completing. So, eh, no. so let me see here. So this is like what I get. I don't know if you can see it. All right. So this is like the exercises you sent me last time so that you can see that I have them all. Tengo justo los 20 archivos de todos ustedes de la página que hicimos en clase. Con nota y todo, all right? Um, eh, para que vean que, que, bueno, que sí lo recibí, right? Eh, 20 cabalitos. Así que, eh, we're good, we're cool. I'm checking like the, the scores and the scores are good too, okay? So don't worry. Excellent. So let's get to work. Let's have a little review about what we started yesterday. Yesterday we started with the simple present. With the simple present, um, like with everything, which is like uh, the most complicated part about the simple present, uh, affirmative sentences, negative sentences, questions, uh, third person singular rule. It was a lot of stuff yesterday. So today we're gonna put it into practice. So I'm gonna share my screen with you. 
hand, let me see. All right. So here we have a little practice or a little exercise. The name of the, of the exercise here, or the name of the game in this case, is called the grammar monkey. In this case, it's the simple present or present simple sentence monkey. So what do you have to do? Pretty much, we are going to try to create the sentence that is going to show us here on the screen. So let's see if we can do it. I'm gonna allow you, or I'm going to, let me see if I can do it. I guess I didn't share the, the audio. Here we go. All right. So now I'm sharing the audio too. So what do we have to do? I'm gonna allow some people to actually take control of the, of the of the screen so that you can complete the exercise. No se me distraigan con el anuncio ahí que está saliendo. So, don't, don't watch that. <laughs> so, we are going to complete the sentence here, all right? So, let me see, Mr. Nixon, are you there? Yeah. Okay, Nixon, I'm gonna give you control of my screen now so that you can actually move. Are you seeing that I'm allowing you to move uh, the mouse right now? Yes? Um, yeah. No. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yes? Okay. All right. Can you move your mouse with my screen? The pointer here on the screen? Yes? Oh, there you go. So, Nixon, let's see if we can actually, um, if we can actually complete this exercise here. So, what would be the correct answer for both? The bird? The bird sing. All right, you choose, grab, a click on the, on the answer and draw it. Haga clic en la respuesta que crea es la correcta y la arrastra al espacio en blanco. All right. The bird sing. Uh -huh. The bird ah. sing out sings. Sing a sings every morning. Será? Let's see. Click on submit. What it says no. submit. Let's see. Oh, no. <laughs> yes. ah, ah, yeah. Aha, uh -huh, uh -huh. uh -huh. It seems there's it's, a little... It's song. <laughs> oh, it's a song. The birds <laughs> sing a song every morning. Aha, uh -huh. uh -huh. let's see. Yeah. Let's go right now. Yeah. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. It seems there is a little mistake. Why is it that we cannot write sing? Sing. Sing. Uh -huh. Why sings and not sing? Because it's four person singular and no use the auxiliary. It is the third person singular. Very good. So what is the bird? He, she, or it? It. Third it. Person. Very it. good. Exactly. Since we have it, because it's a bird, we need sings. Can you do it for me? There you go, Nixon. Okay. The bird sings, sings. A, song a song every morning. morning. There you go. Now click on submit. There you go. You got the banana. There you go. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. Um, num, num, num. Let's see here. Now I'm going to give control to Mr. Hmm, oops, wait. Mr. Mr. Uh, Adilson. Adilson, you there? All right, Adilson. 
I'm going to give you control of the screen. You're going to do the same. Choose the correct words to complete the sentence. So, can you control the screen now, Adilson? There you go. Tom always his quickly. Hmm. Which one do you think is the correct answer, Adilson? Hmm. Tom always writing. Uy, what happened? Hey, le dio click al al anuncio que estaba saliendo. Take it easy, take it easy. There you go. Se emocionó Adilson. All right, Adilson. There you go. Tranquilo, todos queremos hacerlo. Yo creo que están distraídos ahí. Nice. Always ready. <laughs> Tom, always writing his rights quickly. Hmm. ¿Qué dice el público? What do you think, people? No, no, no he's wrong. No. He's wrong. He's wrong. He's wrong. What shall what shall it what shall be the, the correct no, answer? Then? Tom always rides his bike. Ah, let's see. Let's give it a try. All right, Adilson. Mm -hmm. So we're going to change. Uh -huh. Bike. Very good. Is it correct now? No. No, not yet? Oh, oh. nice. Or the, the people oh, say, oh, right. right. Change. Change writing Change for right. Uh huh. Let's see. So you say it's not writing. You say it's rights. All right. Okay. Adilson is changing it now. Very good. Qué <laughs> trabajo. All right. All right. <laughs> now click on submit. There you go. Tom always writes. Hey, you got excited. Tom always writes his bike quickly. Why is it that I that I cannot write the plane? Why not the plane? What do you think? The plane fly. Ah, very good. The plane flies. The bike, I ride it. Whenever I say eh, montar una moto, un caballo, eh, we say ride. Ride, that's the verb. To ride a bike, to ride a bicycle, to ride a horse. Good. Very good. Nice. Choose the correct words to complete the sentence. So let me see. Thank you, Adilson. Now let's give the opportunity to the lady here, Gloria. All right, Gloria. I am giving you control of the screen so that you can move it. So let's see how you solve this sentence here. All right. Mm. Can you move the pointer now or no? No puedo. <laughs> Let me see. This uh, ahorita creo que ya. Ahí está. Right. Very good. Okay. My mom can very well. She for us every day. Hmm. My mom can. Uh -huh. My mom can. Cooks, cooking, cooked, 
or cook. Teacher. Uh huh. No puedo mover. <laughs> Se le trabó. Ahí está. Whoops. Wait, wait, wait. Let me help you. Ah, no. no, se le trabó. Es no, como estoy con el teléfono, no sé si es por eso, pero oh, no lo puedo mover. Oh, I see. Ah, pues sí, sí, creo que es por el teléfono. All right, don't worry. So you tell me what do you, which one should I uh, put here, and I'm going to do it for you, okay? Okay. All right, which one do you want here? My mom can cook. This one? Yes. Ah, uh -huh. my mom can cook very well. She, she cooks. Cooks. For us every day. All right. I think. Okay. People, what do you say? What do you think? Yes. Yes? Yes, yes it's correct. Let's see. Let's find out. Nice, there you go. So, very good. My mom can cook very well. She cooks for us every day. Excellent, Gloria. What significa word, teacher? Huh? Word, what significa? Very well, muy bien. Muy bien, exactly. The thing is, uh, here something happens with good and well. Many people say, for example, or many people use, instead of using well, they use good. My mom can cook very good. Mm, good is an adjective, but well is an adverb. So, si nos referimos a la manera en la que ella cocina, deberíamos de decir well, no good. Porque necesitamos un adverbio, no un adjetivo. Right? So she, uh, my mom can cook very well. Mi mamá puede okay. cocinar muy bien. Nice. Cool. Now, why here cook and not cooks? In this one. Why cook? If I am talking about my mom. Is a, is a fierce person. Mm, my mom? She. I, I talk about with with my mom, mm -hmm. uh -huh. my mom. It's a singular person. <clears throat> it's a third person singular that my mom is a she. Yes, because I speak you for my. Uh -huh. What, can you repeat that? For you, what's a simple pronoun? Because we're using possessive pronoun, mm -mm, not a possessive pronoun, it's a possessive adjective. Mm -hmm. You remember something we said yesterday about do and does? What, are, what is do and does? What are those uh, verbs? How do we call them? Use the yeah. does with she, he, and it. Uh -huh. What is doing does? What is doing does? The, the he, verb. She. Uh -huh. The verb? The verb what? is simple. Simple. It's the base, the base form. Base form. Very good. Base form. Why do I use the base form? I don't know, it's the rule, I think. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> nice. Very good. Uh-huh. Yes? Y el verbo, porque es el verbo, un verbo de acción, no? <clears throat> Close. Close. Uh-huh. It is an action verb, but... ¿Se acuerdan que dijimos que era do y does? ¿Cómo le llamábamos? Verbo auxiliar. Is a auxiliary. Ah, very good. Auxiliary verbs. So, what happens when I have an auxiliary verb 
and an action verb. The verb goes in the base form. So, esto también es un auxiliar. It's auxiliary can. ¿Cuándo ocupamos el auxiliar can? Cuando me quiero referir a las habilidades de algo. O de alguien, perdón. Como en este caso, mi mamá. My mom can cook very well. Puede cocinar. Siempre, remember, this is what uh, the golden rule that I gave you yesterday. Every time that you have an auxiliary verb, what follows is just the base form all the time. All right? So, we have many auxiliary verbs that we can use. So, we are going to learn them little by little, so don't worry. This is algo tricky. ¿Por qué? Eh, no hemos visto ese auxiliar, pero... Uh, just for you to know, that's an auxiliary too. Very good. So let me see. Choose the correct words to complete the sentence. This one goes to, let me see, Mr. Hmm. Mr. Christian, are you there? Christian? Yes? Christian Cepeda or Christian Segura? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Christian Cepeda. I'm sorry. <laughs> I have two Christians, I forget. Christian Cepeda. So this one goes for you. We have, I gave you control of the screen now. There you go. The baby. But she crawls very well. The baby. Ah. <laughs> eh, creo que me está pasando lo mismo que a Gloria. Como por eh, el teléfono. Oh, okay. All right. So I'm going to do it for you then. So you tell me which one do you want. No, I said que le dé ahí en el en el anuncio. What what do you think? The baby? What, what, what can go there? Walks? Walks. Aha. Mm hmm. E. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. It's a real. Walks. Walks. The primero. Aha. And the second? No. Not here. No here. All right, the green one. Green? Here. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. E and what? What? This one. Red. Uh huh. Let Red. me see. The baby walk walks, but she crawls very well. What do you think, people? What do you no. say? No. 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 Baby can. Oh. 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 Right. Yeah. Can walk. The baby can walk. But she crawls very well. Ah. Let me see. So you say the baby can, 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 can walk. 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 Walks or walk? Walk. No. Walk. 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 The baby can't walk, but she crawls very well. Yes? Yes. Let's see. Ella puede caminar, pero ella gatea muy bien. Excellent, very good, nice. Excellent, excellent. Teacher, really teacher, 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 teacher. Nice question. Tell me, yes, yes. Uh, what does mean crawls? Crawls is what babies do when they, uh -huh, when they cannot walk, they start crawling on the ground, right? Gatear, yes, that's crawl. Okay, okay. Very good. Now, this is what we were saying last time and in the previous one. In the previous one was can, but in this one is can't, negative. Something happens here with this, with the pronunciation of this verb. Let me see. I'm going to write it here for you so that we can see it. So we have walk. Walk. The pronunciation is like this. 
walk, walk, walk. The same happens with talk, talk, talk. So, ¿se acuerdan de los walkie-talkies? Antes existía una, unos, unos como radios que eran walkie-talkies, decía la gente. Entonces, no, y yo, yo siempre quise y nunca tuve. <ríe> Deseo frustrado. So, ese walkie-talkie, o sea, la pronunciación viene de ahí, de walk and talk. ¿Por qué era walk and talk? Porque lo andábamos, tipo un celular, caminábamos y hablábamos, ¿no? Eh, con la, a distancia. So, de ahí la pronunciación también, o ahí podíamos ver el ejemplo del walkie-talkie. Walk and talk. Walk and talk. Ajá. Uh -huh. Why or does that happen in English uh, very often? Sometimes. This is what we call silent letters. This is uh, in pronunciation, we call them silent letters. Sometimes. Yes. In Spanish, we have one silent letter, the letter H. Like in some words, the letter H is not pronounced, like in hotel, hotel. The other one, we have another word in which it, it sounds actually, huevo, huevo, ahí sí suena, hotel, uh -uh. it's silent. In English, we have many silent letters. We have, in this case, letter L doesn't sound. Mm -hmm. Teacher, y en um, Walker, wo oh, Walker, como? Walker, Walker. Do you Walker. remember that show? Walker, walk, walk. Ranger, uh -huh. Ranger of Texas. O sea, walk R. Así, Walker. Uh -huh. Walker, ah, yes. Walker. Day ah. Walker, right. Ah. Walker. There you go. Walker. So that's caminante. We also have some other words. How do you pronounce this word? People, how do you pronounce this word? Casto. 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 Oh my, very good. Casto. In this case, the letter T doesn't sound. So we say caso. Caso, caso, something like that, something like that, right? Something that is exactly like that. Caso, caso, caso. We don't say cas, casto, como los colores faber castel. No, caso, caso. Another one that is often mispronounced. How do you pronounce that one? Iceland. 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 Uh, uh, island. 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 Like in the name Rhode Island. Rhode Island. Ah, Rhode Island. Rhode Island. If we say Iceland, is this Iceland, Islandia. So no les pase que por decir isla van a decir Islandia. Uh -uh. Island. Island, Iceland. Island, Iceland. You see? We have some other words like this one. This one, we pronounce it. How do, how do we pronounce it? Nif. Nif? Knife. Knife, very good. Knife. Knife. <laughs> Kasi. Knife. So, in this knife. case, as you can see, we don't say knife, right? We don't say that. Letter K doesn't sound. If, do you remember that commercial? The sopas knor decía. La sopas knor. So, la K no suena. Knife. Knife. We also night. have night. Night. Night, the caballero del, del zodiaco, right? Uh, Nights of the zodiac. Night. Night. In the case of now, 
porque lleva la K adelante, o sea, K now, algo así, pero este solo mm. se dice now. Ah, in this one. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ajá, uh -huh. in this case, it's the same case. No, no, no. Es a ver, I know. Ajá, uh -huh. very good. So, in this case, K doesn't sound either. So, these are called silent letters, all right? That's important for your pronunciation, silent letters. No es que siempre eh, esto va a pasar en, con todas las letras, ¿ve? entonces... Como aquí no suena la, la, la T en caso, no va a pronunciar tomeiro o meiro, ¿verdad? No. Eso pasa en algunas palabras, no en todas. Y la verdad que son pocos los ejemplos eh, de palabras en las que van a encontrar eso, pero sí es importante eh, saberlo. Si, si quieren buscar más, se llama, este caso se llama silent letters. All right? Good. Excelente. No. So let's see. Next. Use the correct words to complete the sentence. All right. Mr. Let me see. Rutilio, are you there? Yes, sir. Hey, Rutilio. How's Hi. everything? Fine, and you? I'm okay. I'm okay. okay. So, Rutilio, are you with your cell phone or with your computer? Uh, my cell phone. Mm, okay. So, just tell me which one will be the correct answer here, okay? okay. I'm going to help you. Okay, Rutilio. Which one do you think is the first one? An ostrich? Okay. Is the can't. Can't, uh -huh. can flying, flying this one, uh, yes. All right, an ostrich can fly, but it can run fast. But what do yes. you say, people? No, 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 no. no. fly, 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 no. fly. this one. Yes. Blue, red one. Yes, yes. 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 Blue. An ostrich can't fly, but it can run fast. Let's see. Sí. Uh, the bear no, esto no puede volar, pero right. corre rápidamente. Exactly, but it can run fast. Very good. Again, in this case, we have an auxiliary. So what I need is the base form for that auxiliary. So, very good. Excellent. Okay, let's make a pause here. So, let me see. All this is also part of the simple present, right? Um, we use can and can't whenever we try to express abilities. So, that is also a, one of the auxiliaries we're going to study with the simple present. Now, before we move on or before we continue with, uh, with the simple present, I want to review something with you. And that is, let me see here. I have a little video about what we were studying yesterday. So in this video, we're going to study or we're going to see pretty much a, like, this is going to be like a summary for everything we have seen so far about the simple present. We are going to see also when do we use the simple present. So let's watch the video. And at the end of the video, I'm going to ask you some questions. So here we go. Let's see. Listen. There are 12 verb tenses in the English language. For the simple tenses, we have the simple present, simple past, and simple future. For the perfect tenses, we have the present perfect, past perfect, and future perfect. For the progressive or continuous tenses, we have the present progressive, past progressive, 
and future progressive. And lastly, for the perfect progressive tenses, we have present perfect progressive, past perfect progressive, and future perfect progressive. This lesson will talk about a simple present tense. To make a positive simple present statement, simply follow this pattern. Subject plus main verb. Simple present tense is used for the following reasons. Number one, for things that are true in general. Examples, cheetah is the fastest land animal. Fruits and vegetables contain a lot of vitamins. Mr. Jackson lives alone. Cheetah, fruits and vegetables, and Mr. Jackson are the subjects in these sentences. Well, if as contain and lips. Number two, for habits or for things that happen. Get breakfast. To school late. Always visit their grandchildren. I. Yes, she, someone is right. Uh, Jose. Hello. Yes, se escucha bien. Se oye cortado. Se escucha como interferencia. Como cortado. An example. All right. Este, por acá. O más atrás. Sí. Bueno, encerró is en un cuadrito amarillo. Ah, ya, que no venga. ¿Dónde estábamos entonces? Is en un cuadrito. Ah, aquí está. Ahí, 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 ahí. Aquí veo. Ok, here we go. All right. Is, contain, and lives are the verbs. Number two, for habits or for things that happen sometimes or all the time. The following adverbs are commonly used for simple present tense. Never, sometimes, usually, frequently, often, and always. Examples, I sometimes skip breakfast. She goes to school late. Mr. and Mrs. Jones always visit their grandchildren. I, she, and Mr. and Mrs. Jones are the subjects in these sentences. While skip, goes, and visit are the verbs. If you notice, all the examples follow the pattern subject plus main verb. For the negative sentence, the pattern is subject plus doesn't or don't plus main verb in base form. Examples, Peter bakes delicious cookies. Peter doesn't make delicious cookies. My classmates like our history teacher. My classmates don't like our history teacher. If you notice, the main verbs in these sentences are all changed into their base form, bake and like. For questions, the sentence structure is do or does plus subject plus main verb in base form. Examples, you like ice cream. Do you like ice cream? She lives in New York. Does she live in New York? They study in the same school. Do they study in the same school? Remember that in making questions, do and does should come first. Try to compare the differences between the structures of the simple present sentences. We have here the positive and negative statements and the questions. Examples, 
Her perfume smells good. Her perfume doesn't smell good. Does her perfume smell good? Honey comes from bees. Honey doesn't come from bees. Does honey come from bees? The third one. Tim and his friends play chess all the time. Tim and his friends don't play chess all the time. Do Tim and his friends play chess all the time? The last one. Dad and Uncle Jim watch football every night. Dad and Uncle Jim don't watch football every night. Do Dad and Uncle Jim watch football every night? For our exercise, make sentences in simple present tense. The first one. Sunlight helps plants grow. All right. Here we have a little exercise. It says in the chart we have affirmative sentences, negative sentences, and questions. What do you need to do? Pretty much, you need to, if you, as you can see here, let me see, let me point this for you. As you can see here, this is the affirmative sentence. What are you going to do? You're going to write the negative sentence and the question. In the second one, you have already the negative sentence. So you need to do the affirmative and the question. In number three, you have the question, so you need to do the negative sentence and the affirmative sentence. In number four, you have affirmative and you need negative and question. And in the last one, you already have negative, so you need to write affirmative and question. For example, if I have, I'm gonna do the first one for you. Let's say that I have <clears throat> here, sunlight helps plants grow. So I'm gonna write it negative. Sunlight, How, what do I need here? If I want to write it negative. Doesn't. Doesn't. Uh -huh. Doesn't. Doesn't. Very good. Doesn't. Helps. Or no. Doesn't helps. Plants grow? Like yes. No. The S, the, the S, no. Ah, very good. So we don't have to write the S here because I'm using doesn't here. So what about the question? The, the question then is going to be, does sunlight help plant? Does sunlight Can you hear me now? Yes. Okay. Cool. Creo que los el headset ya se me está descargando. Anyway, so this is what you're going to do. So I'm gonna give you. Five minutes for you to complete the sentences and then we're going to check it together, okay? Who? Cinco minutos y después lo revisamos. Ustedes van a complementar la oración que haga falta. Who? Who? Nice. Very good. No está esto en en la plataforma ni nada. Eso que lo vamos a hacer en el cuaderno. En el cuaderno, sí. Este es un ejercicio para hacerlo ahorita en el cuaderno. Yes. En cinco minutos lo revisamos eh, todos, right? Lo vamos a revisar juntos. Si quieren, bueno, si quieren ver el video, eh, también está en la plataforma. Está el link 
eh, en la plataforma de la semana 2. por si lo quieren revisar después. Let's see. Let's do something. I'm going to... Let me see. Lo voy a poner a trabajar en parejas, all right? So... Van a poder estar como hablando con su compañero y se van a ayudar con él, ¿ok? Veamos si nos sale. Here we go. And here. Parece que les va a aparecer eh, una invitación. Ustedes solo le dan unirse. Nice. There you go. Good. Excellent. There you go. Yes. Do you still hear me? Okay, cool.
Hey, Nicolás, what happened? Nicolás? Hello? Nicolás, can you hear me? All right, so Nicolás, you're working with Adilson, right? Adilson, can you hear me? Hello, teacher. Hello? <laughs> All right. Any questions so far? Preguntas o todo nice? Todo bien. Yes, all good. All right. Did you finish? Let's see, let's see. All right. Let me just meet everybody. All right, here we go. Okay, now that we are here, again, the, the, the main hall. So let's see. We, only 13 people survived. Where, where are the, where's the rest? <laughs> <laughs> All right, se me perdieron cuatro en la escuela. <laughs> What happened? Let me see. Oh, there they are. Voy a buscarlos en el baño. <laughs> ya está regresando. <laughs> Fueron al baño, ¿eh? <laughs> All right, nice. Very good. Very good. So, let's check if what you got is the correct answer. So let's see here. I'm gonna share my screen again. So here we go. All right. So let me see, Mr. 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 Panameño. Yes, teacher. Mr. Panameño, what's the affirmative sentence in the second example? Here. Can you read it? Ah, very good. She works in a bank. In a bank. Excellent. What about the question? Let me see, Gloria. Um, does she mm -hmm. 
work in a bank? Excellent. Does she work in a bank? Very good. Let me see, Mr. Ronald. What's the affirmative in the next one? Ronald? Se quedó en el baño. All right. <laughs> Mr. Francisco, are you there? Francisco? Se anda mareando. <laughs> Tampoco está. Francisco, no. Hablando con la recepcionista, está. <laughs> está pagando la matrícula. Let me see. Jimmy, you there? Uh -huh. Hi. Hey, so, Jimmy, can you help me with this one? I hear teacher. Oh, okay, okay. Can you help me with this one? With the affirmative sentence. Um, the beers. Mm, uh, the, the beers. The mm -hmm. bears. Uh -huh. The bears. Bears. Inver invernate in winter. Hibernate in winter. Bears. Hibernate in winter. Remember the pronunciation. Bears, bears. Es B, si, si decimos bears, es siempre eh, acabar cerveza y eso todavía nos faltan 20 Uba. minutos. So, take it easy, take it easy. <laughs> take it easy, today is Friday and the body knows. <laughs> Just kidding. All right, there you go. Very good. Bears hibernate in winter. What about the negative one here, Mr. Jorge? I have a, I have, <clears throat> I have a question. Uh-huh, tell me. Uh, in the case, hibernate, uh, uh, don't uh, add S? No, not in this case, because we have bears in plural. Bears in plural. Osos, right? So bears. Okay. Uh -huh. So in this case, this could be they. So they hibernate in winter. Okay, thank you. All right, very good. Let me see. Jorge, are you there? Yes. Can you give me the negative statement? Okay, uh, bears don't. Oh, bears? They crazy. Bears? Not yet. Bears. <laughs> bears. Uh -huh. Bears. 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 I come back. I come back. <laughs> All right. We are come back. Okay. Uh, hibernate good. in winter. In winter. There you go. Bears don't hibernate in winter. Hibernate. 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 Yes. Hibernate, hibernate in winter. Very good. Awesome. So again, bears is plural. So what I need here to make the negative is don't. Good. Let me see the next one. Can you help me, Mr. Um, Jose Torres? Uh, Mr. Scott doesn't clean her, your, her house every morning. There you go, very good. Mrs. Scott doesn't clean her house every, every morning. morning. Excellent, very good. In this case, this is, uh, remember this is not Mr. This is Mrs. 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 And it means Senora, right? This is for for women, Mrs. Mrs. Scott, Mrs. Scott. 
There you go. What about the question? All right, very good. What about the question here, Mr. Rutilio? Okay. Let's see. Does Mr. Scott clean her house every morning? Excellent. There you go. Does Mrs. Mrs. Scott, Scott yes. Uh -huh. Clean her house every morning. Clean her house every morning. Very yes. good. Excellent. Okay. Very good. Excellent. There you go. Let's see the last one, the last sentence. Let me see. Hmm. Let me see who's there. Mr. Um, either you there? Either? Yes, I'm here. All right, Either. Can you help me with this one? Affirmative. Uh, you brush it? You brush? Brush it. You brush? Or brushes? Brushes. Brushes, like this? Yes. Uh huh. Your hair every night. Your hair every night. What do you think, people? Oh, you brush. No. You, brush. you brush. You brush. You brush. Yeah, you brush. In this case, we don't add the ES because we are using you, right? We only add the S or ES if we have the third person singular, he, she, or it. So in this case, we just leave it like brush. Good, nice. Let's see the next one. Mr. 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 Let me see. Um, Mr. Francisco, are you there? Francisco, yes, all right, yes. very good. Francisco, which one do you think should be here? The last one, the question. And the question is, uh, do, do you brush your hair every day? Every night. Ah, do you brush your hair every night? Very good. There you go. Do you brush your hair every night? Excellent. I didn't write it because my screen uh, got frozen here. But anyway, let me see if I can go back. And, 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 and. Let me just stop Google Chrome. Uh, here we go. Okay. Can you still listen to me? Yes? yes. Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah, yes. Cool. Let me see. Sorry, but it seems that intern, you know, Google Chrome is not working properly but I'm going to try to close it right now. It's not allowing me. Okay, anyway. Okay, just give me one sec. Here. All right. There you go. Okay, there. Good. Good mm chair. -hmm. Yes. 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 Yes.
Correct. Okay. Let me see. Let me go and let me just write that here so that we can see on the board. So I'm going to move this. All right. So can you see the board? Yes. There you go. Yes. Yes. All right. Remember that the use of do and does uh, depends on a couple of things here. First, we need to remember we use do uh, we use does with he, she, and it, right? With he, she, it, we use for sure does. We are going to use do with the rest mm -hmm. of the pronouns, like in this case, I, you, we, and they. they. Mm -hmm. So. Do for this, does for this. When do I use auxiliaries? Whenever I have negative statements or questions, okay? Negative statements or questions, then I need do or does. Very good. Any other question? Or can I continue with another thing here? Can I erase? Yes. Yes? All right. Let's see. Now, according to the video that we were watching, when do we use the simple present? When? Do we use the simple present? When do we use the simple present? Do you remember? They mentioned a couple of things. Or no, no idea. No idea. Cuando usamos presente Ajá. simple. Cuando usamos el presente simple. Exactly. So, we use the simple present for a couple of things, but the most important thing in, in which we use actually the simple present is, a, or one of the main things, is daily routines daily routines things that we do every day that we constantly uh, that we repeat uh, on a series of events during the week or during the month etc etc for example i can say i wake up at it's 7 a.m. every day. I wake up at 7 every day. So this is part of my daily routine. This is actually the first thing I do in the morning. I wake up at 7 a.m. every day. Mm -hmm. What is this? This is part of a daily routine. There you go. Now, I can also say, <coughs> she starts, and let's say she starts in her work at let's say eight thirty a.m. She starts her work at eight thirty a.m. So this we work every day. So 
Notice that I can use, that I can talk, I can talk also about another person. Yes? So you can talk or you can use your daily routine or the daily routine also not just for you, but also for another person. Like in this case, I'm describing her daily routine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we got in the we get in the idea here. For example, let me give you another one. She let's continue with this daily routine. She starts her work at 8:30 a.m. She takes a break at 10. Then she returns to work at 10.30. She has lunch at 12. You see, this is part of a daily routine. This is part of her daily routine. How does it start? Well, she starts her work at 8.30 a.m. She takes a break at 10. She returns to work at 10.30, and she has lunch at 12 p.m. So this probably is the daily routine of a person in the morning, right? Just in the morning, probably. Any questions so far? No, right? Really easy. Piece of cake. Piece of cake. <laughs> Piece of cake, right? Very good. Easy PC. Nice. Can I erase or not yet? Do you know? Yes, you're right. Yes? All right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You're right. Cool. So let's see. I'm going to leave that one there. All right. Now, whenever we are talking about daily routines, we sometimes need to check on the dates. So we have, do you know the days of the week? What are the days of the week? Friday. Ah, yeah, today is Friday. What's the yes. first day? Ah, uh, Monday. Monday, uh huh. So we have Monday, Tuesday, Tuesday, uh huh. Wednesday, 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 Thursday, Thursday, Friday, 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 Saturday, Saturday, uh huh. Saturday, yes, and. Sunday. So we have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Sunday. These are the days of the week. Now, be careful with Tuesday and Thursday. Tuesday. Tuesday. Thursday. 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 Como el meme de Donald Trump diciendo Thursday, yes? <laughs> now, in English, we have this sound here. This sound is a, it gives us a little, a little problem for us that we, Spanish speakers. Para nosotros que hablamos español, este sonido nos cuesta un poco. ¿Por qué? Bueno, a mí en la escuela me lo enseñaron que era como una Z, me decía el profesor. Entonces la gente dice, thank you, thank you. 
en vez de decir thank you, dicen thank you. So, ah, ah. No es como una Z. No realmente. So, this doesn't exist in Spanish. No hay un equivalente en español. No existe. ¿Cómo lo pronuncio? Saco la lengua y casi que me la muerdo con, con, con los dientes. ¿Mm? Thursday. 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 Saco la lengua. Thursday. La, la agarro con Thursday. los dientes y la jalo para Thursday. 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 There you go. Thursday. 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 Ajá. La R acá. The R. It sounds er. Er. Thursday. 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 Ajá. Thursday. 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 Mm -hmm. Tuesday, Thursday. Very good. Now, Thank you. este de acá, it's difficult to write Wednesday, Wednesday, Wednesday. Suena de una manera, pero se escribe de otra. Es como si esta de casi que no, no se pronuncia. Wednesday, Wednesday. But we write it Wednesday. But we pronounce it Wednesday, Wednesday. 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 Very good. Now, ¿cómo escribo la fecha entonces? In English, I always write day here. This goes first. The day. Month, the number of the day, and the year. All the time. Si yo quiero escribir la fecha completa en inglés, día, mes, el número del día, y el año. In Spanish, it's the opposite. We start month, day, year. But in English, we start with the day. All right? So yeah. Yes. Day, month. Day, month, and year. Good. All right. Any questions about this or about the pronunciation of something? Are we cool? This is very easy. You pretty much only have to memorize the days of the week. Just make sure that you learn how to write them, that you are actually spelling them correctly. And with these two particularly, that we are pronouncing them correctly, okay? Good. Now, as I was telling you, be careful with this sound, all right? Because it's not thank you, it's thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh -huh. thank you. Thank Tampoco you. suena como una T. Thank you. No es thank you. Ni thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank very, you much. very much. Thank you. Thank you. Ah, very there you go. There you go. You thank are you. Thank, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Good. And no siempre va a sonar así. Algunas veces, como acá. Thank Tampoco vamos a decir say there. Day. Uh -uh. Day. Day. <laughs> Aquí sí suena como a una D. Day. 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 Yo, yo lo olvidé o what did you? <laughs> hey, no. No creo que lo digo por los videos. <laughs> no. Que conste que estaba nervioso en el video. But. Eh, por ahí, por ahí, por ahí anda la cola, la verdad que la lengua, y no es tan malo, que semana, y yo sé YouTube. que pues, uno a veces cuando está empezando quisiera hacerlo súper bien y quisiera eh, <risa> tener la mejor pronunciación, ¿verdad? I'm sorry. ¿Cómo? Que no trabajé. <risa> sí, la verdad que, o sea, uno quisiera hacerlo súper bien y todo, pero vamos empezando, ¿verdad? O sea, 
a medida que el tiempo pase, ustedes van a ir viendo, bueno, el cambio, eh, van a ir sintiendo más soltura, van a, van a tener más vocabulario. Y una recomendación que yo siempre hago, traten de incrementar su vocabulario. Aún, digamos, sean curiosos. Si no estamos viendo algunas palabras o vamos... Eh, bueno, por ejemplo, ahorita estamos viendo los días de la semana. Busquen cosas relacionadas a, a, a la fecha, por ejemplo, los meses. O, pues, si no, eh, traten de aprenderse dos palabras al día. Cualquiera. Algo que les interese a ustedes. Pero... De, traten de ir incrementando ese vocabulario y, y porque entre más palabras sabemos pues me, más ideas podemos expresar right so anyway just a recommendation so um, I guess it's time to go yes ya nos pasamos un poquito so I'm gonna I'm gonna leave you here thank you very much uh, for joining the session today se me escucha Yeah. Yes. 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 Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Thank you. Yes, yeah, pues. Teacher. Bye, bye, Tienes teacher. Thank so, you. Right. <laughs> Good night, teacher. <laughs> Night Friday in English. Night Regias. El Twelve Pack Regias. Beer, beer. Access Friday. Access Friday. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Sí.